<laughs> Some people take road trips so they can get to their destination, but we take road trips so we can experience the journey. And rather than showing a stereotypical cross-country road trip, we decided to take it one step further. We want to drive from Florida to Alaska. I took my STI-swapped Subaru Forester, and Ben took his Evo 9 MR on a journey of over 10,000 miles. We have only three weeks to travel through 23 states and two Canadian provinces. This three weeks was the longest block of time that we had available to us all year, so we wanted to take advantage of it. Our goal? To see as much of the continent as possible. All right, we are in Phoenix, Arizona. It's about 8 p.m. Uh, and we're gonna straight shot it to LA. It's only about six hours, but that should put us back on track. Um, so we're just kind of pushing a little harder right now to get back on track. Uh, we stopped here to see my aunt uh, who lives here in Phoenix. Gosh, such a delight every time. Had some wonderful Thai food. Yeah, Phoenix is gorgeous. Arizona's gorgeous. Now we're gonna leave. We're gonna go to California. So that should be fun. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna cruise some, some LA roads, some good old LA roads. We made our way towards Los Angeles so we could take the scenic route up the coast to Alaska. So we're currently at a gas station. Uh, we got split up from Ben. He's further along the way to LA. Um, Devin is probably gonna drive and I'm gonna try and sleep in the back of the car. Yeah, we're gonna get to LA pretty late. So that'll be interesting. Yesterday, in order to get across Texas, I had driven 23 hours straight, a record for me. Needless to say, I was very tired. Devin took over to give me some much needed rest. It's 2 a.m. and only two hours later, we'll arrive in LA. All right, so it is currently 5 a.m. We are here in LA, uh, in Pasadena, in the morning morning. I think we're gonna shoot up on a canyon road with Louis Yo from Speed Hunters, uh, Larry Chen's assistant. So uh, instead of sleep, I am gonna go with uh, washing my car at this uh, very convenient car wash that I found. We've been washing our cars as much as we can throughout this trip, but this time is particularly important because in a few hours, we're going to meet up with our friend Lewis, who's Larry Chen's assistant, and take some pictures and video up on Angeles Crest. And I'll be gosh darned if I'm gonna let a former speed hunter take pictures of my car when it's dirty. We spent probably two hours cleaning and detailing our cars, and before you knew it, the sun had risen, and we were ready to go for a cruise up the mountain. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we are heading up Angeles Crest uh, with our buddy Lewis uh, from Speed Hunters. We've got Lewis with us uh, from Speed Hunters, which is awesome. Really cool dude. Got a nice Subaru. We're gonna go rip it on Angeles Crest together. Okay, this is. This is the best morning ever. <laughs> I'm just flying up Angeles Crest, chasing Lewis. Devin's right here begging me not to kill him. And oh my gosh, this is so, this is like, I never thought this, I would get to do this. This is so rad. Man, it is so nice to be able to drive up on these California roads in my own car. Uh, we've driven this with like a rental or two here and there, uh, car rentals and stuff like that when you fly in. But it's just, it's not the same. Man, doing it in my own car. It's freaking awesome. All right, that's enough of us rambling. I know you're not watching this just to hear us talk. So I'll cut the music and I'll cut the talking. Just enjoy the view and the sounds.
cruised Angeles Crest up and down for about an hour. And if you've ever been to Los Angeles, you really should take your car up on this road. It's a surreal experience being surrounded by tons of other car enthusiasts who just want to take their cars for a drive. Angeles Crest, uh, we just passed a beautiful McLaren. We passed a yellow McLaren P1 and later found out that it was Jay Leno. And as much as we wanted to spend just all day going up and down the mountain, we had to keep on our journey to make it to Alaska. Okay, so we are here at CarQuest uh, because it is that time. It is 3,750 miles since we left home and that's my oil change interval. So we need to swap that out with some fresh oil. What, do it in the parking lot? Just do it in the parking lot, yeah. yeah. This trip is sponsored by Advance Auto Parts. But before you call us out for not going to an Advance, they actually own CarQuest. So we're still staying loyal to the brand. Gonna go in there, gonna get some oil, get some filters and uh, wrench away. Uh, this shouldn't take very long. Uh, should take less time for me, uh, probably. Being a what than me? Yeah, I'm, I'm younger. I'm more fit. I'm more oh, spry. I drive oh, is that the, it? the better car to work on. Oh, is that it? Better car to work on. 100%. Yeah. Is that because you have to work on it more? Okay, so I'm getting ready to start on my oil change. I think I have a little bit of an, of an advantage over Ben because I don't have an under tray or anything like that. Oil changes are pretty easy on this car. Begin. Right now, it is just the slightest drizzle, and the competitive part of me wants to like just patch it up and start putting more oil in, but the part of me that loves my car wants to just <laughs> let it get all the oil out that it can, and then uh, feel bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna patch it up in it. See, so this is what friends are for. Ben stepping on the brake for me. Even in competition, such a gentleman. And time, 23 minutes. Uh, it's fine. Anything under a half hour I feel like is... It's pretty good. It like hasn't even taken up your day at all. It's like, no. oh yeah, I did an oil change. Yeah. So. I mean, we've stopped longer at gas stations. Oh, for sure. <laughs> we stopped longer at Walmarts. Mm. All right, your turn, buddy. All right, my turn, 23 minutes. 23 minutes, Let's time go. to beat. Start, go. Go. Oh, oh. Go. oh, starting. That's cheating. I get five seconds. <laughs> I got these plastic panels that Ben doesn't have, and it's kind of annoying, but I get better fuel economy because of it. Less wind drag. What's the official, uh, how, how do we end it? Do you want me to start oh, the car? It's not or? over, buddy. It's not over yet? No. What do I need to do, put the cap on? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> That's not buttoned. Okay, what else? Uh, it's good to go. It's good to go. It's 18 minutes and 10 seconds. Does that mean that Subarus are easier to work on? Uh, we both determined that Subarus are the better vehicle, and Ben just kept talking about how much he loves Subarus. Little cafe here in San Francisco, the Cable Car Cafe. <laughs> Thank you. How many miles are we into the trip? We're I mean, just over 4,000. Wow. Are you worried about any other issues? It seems invincible. Like, the only issue I had was just like finishing that six speed swap. It wasn't like something broke, it was just like this, the swap had to be finished. Yeah, there just wasn't enough time. Yeah, because I mean, the swap was finished a day before I left. Dude, I'm really sad to see the Golden Gate Bridge. I've never seen it in person.
Hey Ben, I'm looking at our schedule. It's gonna take us like 70 hours to get to Anchorage. Like, I don't think we're gonna have enough time to make that and make it to our event. What if we just like didn't sleep? Like, do you think we could make it if we just just drove nonstop and <laughs> just didn't sleep at all? I mean, we kind of saw how that went these last few days. Yeah, it's not gonna That's happen. Gonna uh, what if we just like went into Alaska? Like, technically, we got into Alaska, but we didn't go all the way to Anchorage. Because that way we were technically going from Florida to Alaska, which is still really impressive, but we'd have a little bit more time to do fun stuff if we went to a town in Alaska closer. Okay. Uh, yeah. On the close end of Alaska, there's like a ton of mountains there, so it should look awesome. Um, that'll save us like 20 hours. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I didn't think roads like this existed in the US. Uh, I've only seen things look this good in like New Zealand, but you don't have to go to New Zealand to see it. This is incredible. And here I am driving my own car on this road. Everyone should take a road trip like this at some point in their life. Everyone should drive their car somewhere like this just to enjoy it. Today we're going to drive the entire Pacific Coast Highway, a 10 hour drive up this coast. It's not the fastest way to the Pacific Northwest, but it's definitely the most scenic. Driving our cars up this coast is a dream come true. We stopped a ton of times just to look at all the views. Oh my god. What were you doing? Nothing. What a buffoon. The original plan was to make it up to Seattle tonight, but we got so distracted on the Pacific Coast Highway that we haven't even made it to Oregon. But of course, I don't regret a thing, because this has been one of the most enjoyable drives of my life. It is currently 8 a.m. I just slept in my car there. We pulled off the Pacific Coast Highway at four o'clock in the morning. We got four hours of sleep. Probably good enough to drive about more, 12 more hours. How was your sleep last night? Uh, pretty good. Just reclined my car out and put a blanket over my face. Did the bolsters hold you in place? I did not fall out. We're going up to Seattle, which we were supposed to be doing yesterday, but we got distracted and went all the way up Pacific Coast Highway. Yeah, six hour delay, but so worth it. But we aren't done with the Pacific Coast Highway. On the north end of the highway, there lies the Redwood Forest, the tallest and most massive tree species on Earth. The Redwood Forest was spectacular. They even had a tree so large you could drive your car through it. Unfortunately, we didn't have time for that though. We had to keep moving north. I didn't think the scenery could get much better than the Pacific Coast Highway and the Redwood Forest, but Oregon was spectacular. <laughs> 
What a gorgeous state. Oregon was the first state that we've been to on this trip that I've never been to before. Also the first and only state on this trip to have gas pump attendance. Uh, it's Gears and Gasoline. You're from Gears and Gasoline? Yeah, bro. Oh my god, I love your trailer, <laughs> Thanks, That's dude. so cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, we we're, we came from Virginia. Yeah, I noticed the Virginia plates. Right? Yeah. It's kind of weird, and then I saw the sticker. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. You guys are one of the reasons I bought this car. No way. That's awesome, dude. I love it, bro. A few hours later, and we had made it to Washington. Welcome to Washington. I've never been to Washington before, and I'm super excited to be here. Surprisingly, neither of us have broken down in a while, but my Forester has been acting up lately, and I think it's my spark plugs. So we're gonna spend a few hours in a parking lot to swap them out. If anyone wondered how easy it is to change your uh, spark plugs on a Subaru, they're uh, all the way down here in that hole. So yeah, it's uh, real, real easy. Changing spark plugs on a Subaru isn't a simple job. A dealership charges $360 just in labor for this job, so we're not going to be back on the road anytime soon. Very tight. You have to take the ratchet off while you're unscrewing it, otherwise as it unscrews it'll put itself into the frame rail here. And then there's no room to pull the plug out. That's how tight these tolerances are. So we got some NGK Laser Iridium. Ben started wrenching on his car at like like 8.50, and now it's like 10.30. Like two hours to do spark plugs? I don't know about this whole boxer superiority thing, but uh, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. It's like a 10, 10 minute job on an Evo. If I had to do it, which I don't, my spark plugs are done. Just saying. This isn't taking as long as it looks like it is in the video. Okay, it's taking like three hours, but you know. But, but not as long as you but think. But not as long as you think. That, uh, how long did you think it was taking? After about three hours, I replaced all four spark plugs and the engine was running again. Now for a quick test drive to make sure they work. We're in Seattle, Washington. We wanted to be here like a day or two ago, but uh, it's okay. It's beautiful. I'm glad we got to see it. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, it's fantastic. To have our cars here is just like a really weird feeling, you know what I mean? You guys are on the wrong coast. Yeah, I like it. I'm down with it. How'd they get here? <laughs> We're only two hours away from Vancouver. Yeah. It's gonna be super easy to knock out. Yeah. After Vancouver, I was looking at the map, we get into the snow-capped mountains. Like, Can't wait to see that. Immediately after Vancouver. But first, we're gonna have to see if they'll actually let me into their country. I'm honestly worried because of the ski boxes. It looks like we're trying to like smuggle a lot of something in. Uh, they can probably or out pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, probably. We'll see what that's like. Before we could leave Seattle, a few subscribers stopped by, and I have to check out their cars. My name's Johnny Walker. You know, buddy told me that you guys were up here, kind of been following your trip, so came up. Got got off work and came straight here. So this is my 2005 uh, Legacy GT wagon. Um, it's got a 2006 Legacy GT JDM swap. I daily drive it. Um, I take it. If there's a waterfall, a campsite, off-road, I'm there. Uh, my name's Eric. I did airbags, wheels, front lip, JDM front lip, STI seats. That's basically it. It's actually NA. Oh wow! It's so you awesome. actually get good gas mileage? Yes. <laughs> Eric and Johnny are awesome, but I'm absolutely sick of Subarus, and we have to go to Canada. Both Ben and I have never crossed the border in either of our cars, so we're nervous that Canada won't even let us in. We are about to go into Canada. Uh, we are like a 10 feet, 30 feet from the border. Uh, really nervous, never crossed the border line before. Please, sir, I'd like to come into Canada. I wonder if they give you a complimentary bottle of maple syrup. Oh, I see a Canadian over there. So that's what they look like. They're taller than I expected. No one is riding moose yet. I'm gonna get kicked out of this country in five minutes. I'm gonna offend everyone in this country. I know it. 
I get the feeling that they're gonna like search everything, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Uh, I don't know, our ski boxes are probably gonna like throw a red flag for them because we could definitely fit like two people in each of our ski boxes. Note to self, do not try and do a Canadian accent. Pretty good, eh? Welcome to Canada. Their trees look about the same. Uh, I got nothing to hide, man. I have a knife on me and some food, but I don't think that'll be a problem. All right, this is it. We're going for it. Hi there. Will we make it into Canada? Will they strip search our intern Devin? Will we get complimentary maple syrup? You'll have to find out next Saturday. <laughs>